can you come on Radio 5 Live? So of course this is my shoes. We just don't do this on purpose though, do we? No. Why do you do this to me, God? Hello everyone and welcome back to another weekly vlog. We've just arrived at Brasserie Blanc at the Marriott Hotel near Manchester Airport. But we're both not feeling very well, are we? I wanted to go on a McDonald's drive through. Well, yeah, but... And then get in bed and watch a film. This food should be nicer. But instead, I'm going to a five-star hotel. <laughs> yeah, so they've invited me to come along and to try it out. So Why do you do this to me, God? It should be, no, it should be really good. The place looks amazing inside, so I'm excited to see, but the drive was a bit stressful. Not that Tim realised, because he was asleep. And I was asleep because... Um, because you're hungover. Because I'm hungover and I'm not feeling very well. <laughs> that is no Hence excuse. The I was stressing out. I, just I didn't want know to what McDonald's. lane I was going in. I looked over. I just went to McDonald's and I just want to go to bed. And he was asleep. You'll feel better after you've had something to eat. Yeah, I know. I feel like I'm getting a cold. And this bun's too tight on my head and it's giving me a headache. I'll have some of it. What? Some of your bun. Some of the bun. Anyway, I'm wearing these Zara trousers that I got um, the other year. Not the other year, I got them this year. <laughs> oh they're my not, god, it's so bad. So let's just give up now. They're definitely There's not in no season, weekly are they? vlog. They're definitely not in season. They're not in season. You cannot buy them right now. You can buy these shoes, however, but I'm changing them into heels. And this shirt is from Windsor, London, because I am working with them soon. I thought you said because I'm worth it. Because <laughs> I'm worth it. And earrings are by New Look. What are you wearing? I'm wearing a new a brand that I can't seem to say. Abercrombie and Fitch. That's the one. You say Abercrombie and Finch. That's a really flattering angle. Uh, Abercrombie and Fitch shirt. Yeah. And where did you get that jacket from, ASOS? Yeah, but I'm not wearing this. This is just for the journey. And you got some Zara jeans, didn't you? I got some Zara jeans. Little biker jeans. Little mm. biker jeans. There's a bike out there. I might get on it and go. Anyway, anyway, we'll show you inside when we get there. Yeah, I'm we're gonna go and do this. I'm excited to do um, thing now. eat and 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 go in. And I'm excited to. Hey, is this recording? Yeah, <laughs> it's recorded. It's popcorn. She works nights by the water She is gonna stray so far away from her father's daughter She is meant to lie Oh, for a baby All on her own, no one will come She's gotta save him She tells him, oh, love No one's ever gonna hurt you, love I'm gonna give you all of my love Nobody matters like in your life ain't gonna be nothing like my life you're gonna grow up with a good life i'm gonna do what i got to do so rock a bye baby rock a bye i'm gonna rock you rock a bye baby don't you cry somebody's got you rock a bye baby Just checking where the uh, speaker is. Ah, sort of for my hand. The speaker, is it this thing? Yeah. It's three dots on top of the camera. Oh yeah. Block the speaker and all the sound was blocked. So Lydia, what are you having for dessert? A pistachio souffle in a chocolate mousse cup with raspberry. Raspberry what? Raspberry. What was it? Cooley. No, it wasn't that. Um, that just reminds me of that video at Wood. Uh, and I'm having chocolate mousse because that's what I always get because I'm an idiot. And I'm going to feel like crap later on, but oh well. Which is very 
this is the best we got. Let me just this is the best red wine I've ever had and I'm not a big red wine fan. What is it? I can't read it from this. It's a Malbec. Malbec. Salentine. Salentine. Yes, Salentine. Thank you. In the car it goes. Shove it in. Pop. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. You don't. Why does it need to go? Oh, it's green. This is the souffle. No, it's not. What's this? Moose cook. Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot. I think that might be the souffle. Just guessing, that's the souffle. I got one. it wrong. It's moose. No. Okay. All right. She's, she's not used to fine dining. I think I've got deja vu. We are just on our way back from um, Baratami Blanc, but obviously, as you can tell, we're completely stuck in traffic, which is great fun, but it's still quite early. It's only quarter to seven, so it's not like we'll get home in the We've had a lovely meal, haven't we? It's been fabulous. Lovely three course meal. The place is so nice though, as well. We have like pink, well, you probably saw pink leather sofas which went perfectly with my outfit and um, yeah that was it it was lovely everybody was really nice all the staff were lovely and I definitely recommend going if you're around there in like Cheshire or even going to Manchester Airport actually it's, it is right at Manchester Airport and quite near Manchester as well. We can see Manchester and we've only just set off from the restaurant. So yes, definitely recommend going if you're around the area. You look like you're um, show everyone what you're doing. Reclining. Passed up. I told him he's not allowed to go to sleep but he keeps trying to hear to me. What, which which vlog is this? How, what number? 14, I think. Number 14. No, hang on, I think it's number 15. Number 15. Over and out. No, <laughs> this is the beginning. Good morning, everyone. So it is Saturday morning and I've just arrived at Media City. Basically, I got an email last night after we'd been to the restaurant saying, um, can you come on Radio 5 Live, BBC Radio 5 Live, at 20 past eight tomorrow morning, this was at like eight o'clock last night, um, to do an interview about um, Joe Sugg being on BBC Strictly um, and him being a vlogger and the Strictly lineup. So I was like, of course, because I'm a huge Strictly fan. So I'm here now, it's 20 to eight, I think. Um, so I've just parked up but I'm a little bit nervous but I have done one of these before but it was over the phone it wasn't like in the studio or anything so it's a little bit nerve-wracking actually going into the studio but also very exciting so I'll try and get some footage in there but whether I will or not is another story but I'm very excited and I'll tell you all about it later it's a very miserable morning but there's BBC I'm not sure if that's the one I'm going into actually I'll check my Google map. really good um the interview lasted probably about 10 minutes so not too long which was quite good because i was nervous but um i'll hopefully my mum and dad have recorded it so i'll hopefully um record some of that footage so you can hear a little bit of it but it was really good the presenters were lovely and we were just having a chat about youtube and the rise of youtube and what it means for the future basically so it was really good and now i'm going home i'm tired i think i'm gonna have a nap because I'm very exhausted and I didn't really sleep that well because I was a bit nervous. But yeah, done. And on my way home now to enjoy my Saturday. Right, I've just got back and whilst I've been away, this 
gorgeous rug has arrived. I ordered it the other week from Wayfair.com um, and it arrived on Wednesday apparently but I'm absolutely in love with it. I think I'm going to get a new desk next and also a new stool maybe like with gold legs or something but this is phase one of room revamp and interiors shopping so yep really happy with this it was 90 pounds and this is i think the second largest size but it's really nice and fluffy and it'd be perfect for Hello everyone let's turn the radio off um i've just arrived at tim's it's sunday afternoon about five o'clock he's been at work today um but today i've had a huge clear out of my wardrobe like huge a lot of stuff going in the bin i think and then i'm selling some other pieces on depop um i'll link my depop below actually um i think it's just lydia tomlinson but yeah i've got all that done which i'm so relieved about oh he's back now i've just been waiting for him to get back from work so i've just um pulled up but he's back now um yeah so we're just um i think gonna get pizza tonight hopefully i'm starving already he's just watching me vlog which is really funny um yeah starving so um i'm very much looking forward to food and i'll catch up with you later you could always get that maybe or something like that. you don't eat it all why don't you get the one that one sent away oh, yeah because where are you going to put it mm. did we order that that's pepperoni in it is it mm. like we need like maybe put one on here Yummy, yummy, yummy. Good morning, guys. I'm back at home now, as you can see in the wardrobe, which I had a big clear out of yesterday. So I think I'll um, show you that later on this afternoon, actually. Uh, yeah, so back from Tim's, we had our pizza last night, and then I felt stuffed, you know, and just feel horrible after you've eaten something like that. So today I'm back on it. I've been to the gym this morning, and now I'm just going to have to go to the skip, the tip, the skip, the tip. Um, to take all the stuff that I cleared out of the wardrobe yesterday. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven big bags um, of just old clothes, you know, when you just kind of keep and hoard clothes and don't throw them away. So it's just some old stuff. And then I've got to go to the post office because I've sold some things on Depop and I've got an ASOS order to return. So it's quite a busy morning. I just want to get it done though. I'm just in my comfiest clothes imaginable i'm just ready to box it all off and get it done so i'm back from the skip i'm just making myself a quick cup of tea before i start work this afternoon i've got a lot of um admin -y type things to do so a cup of tea is essential and i want to show you these two put these on my instagram story i don't think i put them on um the vlog yet but they're from a brand well i guess would you call it brand a florist called ixia flowers and they've given me a discount code to get 25 percent off so i'll leave that on screen and also in the description box below because my most beautiful bouquet um they've got look at this one here i don't really know the names with but there's some lilies there um rose and they've got this bamboo thing but the perfect kind of flowers. I love these kind of, I love how fresh and green they look. Beautiful. Good evening guys. So it's now Monday evening. It's about half eight at night. I'm just, just getting ready um, for bed. I'm going to take my makeup off and I thought why not film um, what I do um, taking my makeup off and what products I use. So I'm just in the bathroom obviously and I brought the ring light to hopefully give it more light. But I'm looking quite patchy at the moment because um, I put fake tan on this morning and then I let it set and put my makeup on top, which was probably a bad idea. But um, I did it anyway because I wasn't going out, out anywhere special. So I'm just going to tie my hair back so I can take my makeup off properly. So I'm just going to get a hot flannel first. Um, and I just use a little bit of soap, proper a bar of soap um, on a hot flannel to take like my initial makeup off. So just get it in some running water. And I think I'm gonna put a mask on tonight as well. So I'll show you what mask I am using. I'm taking a lot of it off, this is a mess. I go in with this product. So I don't know if you can see 
in that light but it's nearly run out now it's Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Botanical Cleansing Oil which is amazing actually it just takes your makeup straight off so I usually just dab a bit on my fingers and then rub it in but I guess you can go in with a cotton pad and also do it that way and just rub it all over rub it on my eyelashes to take my eye makeup off I've got a few Kiehl's masks actually and I've also got um, a La Mer one so I think what I'll do is use the Kiehl's one considering I'm using all Kiehl's products um, it's not sponsored I hate it when people say that um, but I feel like I might get asked if it is sponsored but it's not but some of these products were gifted a while ago but I've used I've used them a lot, taking them on holiday, um, and they've actually lasted quite a while, all the Kiehl's products. So now I just go in again with the flannel and take that makeup off. Actually what I might go in with is just put a bit of this over the top just to get all the makeup off. So it's La Mer um, Cleansing Foam which is really nice, it smells really um, good and it's nice and fresh on the face as well. This is like steps I do when um, I really want to take all my makeup off and have a good clean of the skin. Just get some more um, warm water on that. Now I will put the Kiehl's mask on and it's the Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. And inside it is like this consistency. When we actually went to Kiehl's um, it was on the vlog a couple of weeks ago. When we actually went to Kiehl's, she gave us this as well and she said if you don't want too much of a deep cleanse, use this one round your T-zone and then this one um, just around the other bits of your face. So I'm just going to use this all over tonight because I've not used it for a long time. But yeah, she said if you're using this regularly, then don't smother it all over your face and use this one too. Try not to get too um, much of a thickness, otherwise it just doesn't dry and I don't feel like it helps anymore. Voila, very attractive. Okay, so when I finish this, I'm not going to show you because um, I'll be watching Big Brother and probably be in a rush. But when I've used this, I will go in, take all of this off, and then go in with the Kiehl's cleanser. This is Calen Calendula Herbal Extract Toner, um, which feels really good on the skin, obviously. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a product. <laughs> and then use my La Mer Moisturiser. I've been using this every day for quite a while, and there's still, I can see it, I've used about that much so there's still quite a lot left so it's very long lasting um i mean it is very expensive and this was a gifted product but it is a really good moisturizer so this is the moisturizing matte lotion i requested the matte one because um i'm quite oily around the t-zone so i thought i look so stupid doing this yeah i'm quite oily around the t-zone so i requested a matte one anyway um I look horrendous, so I'm going to get my own face off camera now. I'm definitely no beauty expert, but that is just seems to be what works for my face every every few days, maybe twice a week I'll do something like this. This mask I've not done with for a while, but I try, I try and change masks, but kind of follow the same steps as in taking my makeup off, cleansing, mask, toner, moisturiser. So yeah, that is my usual um, nighttime routine. Well, not everyday nighttime routine, but my sometimes nighttime routine. Hello everyone, I've not done much vlogging today. Well, I've done no vlogging today. Um, because I've been filming, this is the results of, just finished my next basic styling series, um, which is all about girlfriend dynamics. So go and check that out, because it should be up now, if all goes well. So um, yeah, just been filming that this morning and basically I have to turn my room upside down for this because um, usually I've got furniture over here and over here. So um, 
all the furniture is currently around me. So I've now got to film that, plan outfits for tomorrow, sorry, edit that, plan outfits for tomorrow, and just get my life in order really, and reply to some emails. So that is what's gonna happen later this afternoon. And also how cute are these necklaces? Well, they're a joint necklace from Mango and I think they were 12 99 so if anybody's wondering that's where they're from. Might even film a video later in the week about um, new in autumn pieces and I include this. So Good morning everyone, I've just arrived in Manchester because today Freya and I are going to, it's called um, Below and we're getting our nails done and our hair done very kindly but we're also shooting whilst we're here. So um, we've just done our first look which was um, my first look was working with Abercrombie and Fitch. Um, you'll have seen on last week's vlog that we went to check out the new store, so it's just part of the collaboration. Um, so it was a very casual look. I'll try and insert the picture if I can. So we needed to get that shot um, in and find a location for that. So we've done that now. Um, this is my second Abercrombie and Fitch look, which is jeans and a little tee. Just got my coat over, but they're just really classic um, styles. So we'll, we're around Northern Quarter shooting today, so um, I quite like the background there. It's quite, quite city vibes, and I like that kind of location for shooting in, and I think it matches um, my style and my outfits as well. So I've um, got my little suitcase here for changes later on. Um, so we're gonna head to Blow now, and I'll show you um, our little trip there as well. We've got the same outfit on. Yay! Yay. Well, minus the shoes. We've got the black bag as well. We like to match. What can we say? We just don't do this on purpose, though, do we? No. <laughs> Ready for a quick Starbucks lunch. Yummy. So hungry. Change of shoes. Okay. Got these Russell and Bramley boots on, which I received yesterday. Quite comfy, actually. Not bad. Great. Yeah. Oh, the PR You've got your email. train as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my night. We've got our matching jeans and black bags and white shoes combination. Shock. An award winning combination. When are we not matching? Exactly. Hi everyone, it's Tuesday and I'm just about to go out for coffee and breakfast with um, my best friend because she's leaving to go back to Edinburgh. She's um, training to be a vet so I'm going to see her now. Um, so quick breakfast but I've got so much to do today. I've already been to the gym, it's about 10. Been to the gym done um, some emails and signed some contracts that um, I needed to look over and read before I worked with the brand. I've got some really exciting collaborations coming up actually so um, yeah looking forward to that. Work is good at the moment. This afternoon um, I'm going to try and film another video if I can. I'm wearing these mango necklaces with a mango jumper which I'll hopefully maybe show in my next video and the girlfriend denim from um, Abercrombie Fitch and then Russell and Bromley Lopes. So
afternoon and I thought I'd do a little wardrobe tour considering I've just tidied it all out. Um, I thought I'd show you before I ruined it all again. <laughs> so I've just filmed a video and yeah, now I'm just cracking on with some more work. I've got quite a lot to do, so I'm probably going to do some through the night. But thought I'd quickly show you all of this. So of course, this is my shoes. I've tried to fit some um, little boots here. Um, so they're all together and then heels. I've got some more heels splattered around, but these are the Russell and Bromley loafers, which I am loving at the moment, new in, and also these white boots are new in from Russell and Bromley. And then these are Russell and Bromley as well, they're the, they're the same identical pair to that, um, and love those pair. New Zara's, and then some boots down here. These are so good, such a cool pair of boots. And then sort of a bit, few more summery pieces down there. Trainers and yeah, so that's the shoes. And then down here I've just got some baskets that I put sort of miscellaneous things in. That is a big scarf basket. I've got um, some bags down here, some more bags, bigger bags down there. So that is how I organise my shelves. I've tried to do it colour coordinated a little bit. And then just here I've got... Um, my designer bags that I keep out, I try not to shove those in the bags and I don't keep them in the boxes all the time because I don't have that light on often so it's not going to tarnish them, it's in a dark space so um, I just keep them out so I can get to them quite easily and then down here I've got all, um, I've tried to colour coordinate again, black jacket um to black tops and then right through to white things at the end and then again bottoms on this side a jeans collection there and then my lighter things here over here i've got short jackets so they're kind of ready for the winter i did have some addresses here but now i've got all my short jackets ready for autumn and some big knitwear i'm going to keep over here and then at the very end is just sort of long coats and long dresses and just some yeah i've got all my faux fur coats there very much ready for the new season now and then i've got some lights here i'm gonna turn that off actually so yeah that is my wardrobe I should maybe do a proper walking wardrobe tour but yeah this is just a little quick tour to show you and I think I'm going to edit this vlog tonight but yes this is the wardrobe in its current state I can't promise it'll be this tidy in a few weeks time <laughs> 